Hello, I'm Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day in the Word, and today is Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas and Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This little uh, passage, very small, but again contains uh, a a great uh, event. We have, of course, at this time... uh, Barnabas and Saul and John Mark making a trip down to Jerusalem and back. There isn't a lot of information of what they did in terms of going down there and what they were bringing back, but uh, they were back in Antioch uh, when uh, we begin the main part of the passage. And it's there that uh, we see this small group that were worshiping. Uh, Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius, Manaen, and Saul. And very, very different people. You had a Cyrenian. Uh, you had one who was a friend of Herod the Tetrarch, uh, a member of royalty. Uh, you have uh, Saul, of course, and Barnabas. And they're praying and they're worshiping and they're just giving themselves totally to the Lord. And it was at this point then that... Um, They were told what was to take place, and that was that Barnabas and Saul were to be set apart for a special work. And so what we have here, this is the beginning of chapter 13. What we have is the establishing of the first missionary journey. And there are three missionary journeys in the Acts of the Apostles, and this is the very first one. And so we're about to accompany Uh, Paul and Barnabas and John Mark as they take off. And they're going to start by going across part of the Mediterranean, go into the island of Cyprus and do some ministry there. And so uh, this is the beginning of the unfolding of the gospel to other parts, going up into Asia Minor, to Greece and, and so on. And this is the beginning as these two were set apart. And one of the things that I love is the setting for how it was done. It wasn't that they sat down and uh, just kind of took a map and said, well, you know what, you guys, we're just going to, I think you're the ones that ought to go, and so here's where you ought to go, all of that. No, this was truly a work of God. And so the establishing of the first missionary journey happened in the context of worship, fasting, and prayer. That as they were with the Lord, and as they were uh, refraining from, from eating. They were taking this time to fully give themselves to our Lord and to his purposes in their lives, that it was during that time that the Holy Spirit was very strong and specific in pointing out that Paul and Barnabas were to leave. And that way, of course, um, Simeon and uh, Lucius and Manaen would remain behind there at Antioch to continue the work there. But this is a time for establishing. And again, uh, one of the things that it reminds us of today is that when we are seeking to find God's purposes in our life, there's nothing better than prayer and fasting to help do it. To set ourselves time to be alone with our Lord and to worship him, to praise him, to pray. And again, to withdraw ourselves even from, from food and nourishment that This will be a time when we're going to give priority to the Spirit. And it is in those occasions that 
our Lord can speak so powerfully and so dramatically to us. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, we're on the beginnings of our first missionary journey with Paul, and we'll be continuing to follow him uh, and the various encounters that he has along the way as he makes that first swipe, or sweep rather, up into Asia Minor and on over into Greece. So, until next time, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.